having taken the cat on the first day how did you find the paper uh, this was a uh, paper like any other cat paper uh, not very different yeah. were there any glitches or errors in the exam either academic or technical uh no there were no glitches as such for most of the students a couple of students in a few centers did the report some technical issues but most of them were resolved there and then so there was no major issue uh, in terms of the conduct of the exam however in the in the paper i have a very strong feeling that in the, in my paper there was at least one question which was definitely incorrect uh, unfortunately there is no way of finding out whether it was correct or not because we don't have the question paper with us However, not only me, but a large number of other people who are extremely good in quant have reported that they were not satisfied with the sector question, and most of them feel that it was incorrect. Was there any surprise element in the paper? Uh, as far as the structure of the paper is concerned, there was no surprise element. Uh, both QA and DI, the structure was as it has been in the last year, as it has been declared by CAT. Uh, within QA, we still had those nine odd question of DI and twenty one question of QA, and all areas of quantitative were well represented in the paper. Similarly, when you look at the VLA section, again the structure was along the desired lines or along the expected lines. Nine questions of analytical reasoning, ten questions of uh, reading comprehension, and uh, 11 questions of english usage so as far as the structure is concerned there was no surprise element the surprise was actually in the level of difficulty of the paper the qa di section was a little more difficult than what we are what we are used to and va lr was easier than what we are used to so the surprise lay essentially in the changing nature of the degree of difficulty as compared to the structure how would you rate the overall difficulty level of the test if you look at the cat 2012 paper i would say this is more difficult than the earlier three online papers and in the last four years this is the most difficult cat paper traditionally an attempt of about 45 to 15 cat in the online version of cat has been a very normal thing but this year's paper an attempt of 45 would be a very good attempt so overall the level of difficulty of this paper is higher than the earlier versions of online cat now if we go section by section that the degree of difficulty has increased significantly in the quantitative aptitude qa di section This has increased significantly on account of two or three things. First, the DI section, the nine question of DI, the level of difficulty in terms of calculation has gone up. The sets have become more calculation intensive, and one set has also become difficult. So, out of the three sets, typically one set was difficult, but in general, the amount of calculation required or the intensity of calculation has gone up, which has made the DI section a little difficult. Out of the twenty-one odd question of quantitative aptitude. every paper had about five or six questions which are not attemptable so typically an attempt of about 20 was a very good attempt in the qa section which is as compared to the earlier papers of qa uh, i would say that if you look at the last three years papers of qa di an attempt of 24 25 was definitely on so we have lost about five attempt in this year and hence it has become a more difficult paper moving on to the vlr section The, the surprise element out, uh, out here was that the paper has actually become easier than the earlier versions of CAT. The reason is that reading comprehension has become easier and verbal ability has remained at the same level. But most importantly, analytical reasoning was very easy. So when you look at the paper as a whole, the the VLR section as a whole, eleven ten questions of uh, reading comprehension. At least two passages were very easy. Some people had a third passage as difficult, but at least two passages were very easy. and the ninth question of analytical reasoning was very easy so on an average everyone would have done about 15 questions of uh, of uh, in this section and out of the 11 questions of uh, of uh, english usage everyone would have done about 5 to 7 questions so an attempt of 20 to 22 was definitely on in this paper as compared to 18 to 20 for last year's cat so while the overall degree of difficulty of the paper has gone up Uh, it has gone up essentially because of more difficult question quant section but it has been tempered somewhat by a easier vlr section based on the trend what would you like to suggest to the cat 2012 aspirants uh, the 2012 aspirants who are yet to take the paper should do a few things definitely one they should definitely go through past cat paper because in my paper and some other students have also reported Uh, questions from previous cat papers have been repeated so it is essential that you do all the cat papers especially qa especially the quantitative aptitude section from cat 95 to 2008 second don't be overwhelmed by the paper 
it is a paper and if it's a difficult paper it is difficult for everyone it will not matter at the end of the day because it is not your absolute performance but only your relative performance which is important don't worry about attempts focus on accuracy okay so as long as you are focused on the accuracy part and you are willing to leave the difficult or the time consuming question whether it is qa or lr or di you will be very comfortable with it finally when you come to the lr section the vlr section please make sure you definitely attempt the lr questions most probably if the current pattern is assumed to be correct and hopefully this is what will continue in the subsequent papers lr questions are going to be easy and not attempting them could be a disadvantage for anyone who is missing out on them